Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2, where last episode we were working on this area down over here and it's actually basically completed. But I'm going to take a look at that in a little bit because I've noticed a couple of traffic jams, including one over here, that I think we can do something about very, very easily. So I was looking at this traffic jam here and we can see these guys are pretty much all trying to go down here and then down this ramp onto this highway where they're just kind of sitting here because of this lane. So what we need to end up doing here is simply take this down to two lanes between this off-ramp and this on-ramp. That is the solution here. So we need to bring this down like that, and then like that. That should solve it. Phenomenal. So it just goes down to two lanes here, and that gets the traffic moving again instantly. Perfect. So that'll do. That'll take a little bit of time for that traffic to flow on through, of course. Now, there is another traffic jam going on up over here. And the question is, what exactly is going on with this? Well, we can definitely see there's some improper left-hand turns going on here. So first things first, let's get rid of left-hand turns from here. And let's see if that alone solves it, but I kind of don't think it will. It's people then trying to turn left from here. Uh-huh. So that's definitely a bit of a problem. And now they're trying to re-pathfind because they were reliant on this left-hand turn. So we'll have to see what ends up happening with that. I'll let that run for a little bit. We have a pretty big amount of demand for commercial, of all things, at this point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually build up a meta block up over here for commercial. So we're going to take this up to be, let's see here, this will need to be 112. And bring this guy in right over here. Something along the lines of that. Now, I don't think this is exactly straight, looking at this. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to split this off from here. Okay, yeah, we can see as this goes further along, we can see that this is definitely not, like, snapping to the zone grid. So we may want to have it just snap to zone grid. Or we could just say, you know what? doesn't matter all that much as long as we're relatively close that's what matters and I think that's what I'm going to say for right now so we're going to take this on up to be here and then we're just going to bring that guy right on in like so two and then this will be three that slope too steep but we can do that okay we might have some potential issues there. We'll see how that goes. We'll need to bring this up again. Okay, and then this guy would come in right over here. So that gives us four. Let's see here. I'm thinking about when this highway needs to be. Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, it needs to be right here. So we can get rid of this section of street and we can put in as a marker that. Again, that is put in as a marker. So we'll get rid of Sunnyside Street there. Now what we can do is we can bring this highway up to be somewhere around well, here or so. I want this to be snapping only to angle for right now. Okay, so somewhere around here. That'll do. Then we can extend this road right on through and connect it right here. So one, two, and three. About like that. That gives us all of that good to go. And then we can just extend these roads up in theory. So that would be right about here, here, and here. And then here here and here and then finally here 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 
And then this would go, in theory, 224 meters out over here, right? So then this road would connect out this direction and would go out over here. About like that. And then all of these roads would just link up. Cool. Approximately like that. So that'll do for now. Now we can build this highway through. And we'll just start it here and drop a pillar. Well, I, I want to snap this only to angle. Thanks. What is this angle? Okay, that is not going to be ideal. <laughs> let's get rid of that for right now. And let's just bring this guy up first. Because that was very, very awkward. Okay. Okay. So one here, one here. That's getting slope too steep. I'm not shocked about that. Because the slope is quite steep out here. No doubt about it. So I'm just wondering, what would this end up looking like? Okay, yeah, that's definitely not ideal. So we're going to need to get rid of this section of street, and we're going to change the sloping here. So we're going to use the slope terrain tool, grab this height, and I'm just going to do this number. So grab this height here, and we'll, we're just going to smooth all of this out. I'm going to get rid of this section of road as well. I'll keep this one. And then grab this height. Something like that. Then we'll use the Soften Terrain tool and clean all of this up a bit. About like that. Get rid of this section of Magnolia Street. And continue to clean that up just a smidge. There we go. Then we can bring this road back up. And hopefully that will allow us to not have roads too steep. I say as we get slope too steep up through here. Okay. I'll just deposit that right there for the moment. And let's see what this would look like if we connected it in here. That's functional. Okay. And then this road would need to connect here like that. Okay. We'll see if that's better on the slope front. It might not be. This might not do the trick. We m might have to take this back a little bit as well. We'll see. So if that is the case, that'll be absolutely fine. Let's turn this snapping back on, but then back off. Okay, that is definitely an improvement there. And then we can just deposit this right about here. Beautiful. Now for this road over here. The question is, are we going to need to do basically the same sort of thing? And we might. So we'll bring this on up. Looks like no. Looks like we're good. Okay. We don't need this section of road for the time being. Now we're going to have to put this in right here in the center. So turning snapping on, I'm going to bring this guy in over here. Okay, there is a spot here where, where we can put this in. Beautiful. And then this is actually at the wrong angle. Get out of here. I want this to be at the exact angle that we want, which is, of course, right here. There we go. Can we get a roundabout in here? Actually, surprisingly, yes. I expected that to be a problem, but it wasn't. Remarkable. Okay. Now I'm going to get this out of here. This is actually going down too much, and I want it to basically maintain altitude. So there we go. It'll be something along the lines of that, and we'll just... Hang on. Snapping isn't right. We're going to do something like that. There we go. That'll be much, much better. So we bring that in, and we would just then run this guy all the way over here. Now, th that's going to require additional work, of course. That's fine for the moment. We don't even have to put in a roundabout here, but I'm going to do it anyway. We have a slope too steep in the north and the south here, which is problematic for us. We can see if just removing that would fix the problem. It does not. But this is actually fine. 
Okay. Yeah, there's there's no problem there. So we can just put that in like so. Beautiful. That will be perfect. So that's looking very good. Next up, of course, we just need our on-off ramps here. We don't need all that fancy of on-off ramps. We'll just put them up over here, and we'll probably run into some slope too steep issues, but we'll see how that ends up going. I'm hoping that we've already dealt with those that we're going to have. So that would mean this up over here, and this is, if we're going to run into problems, this is where it's going to be. No problems. Okay, beautiful. Well, I say no problems, but we do have some clipping here. We can definitely see that pillar there. So I'm going to take that out for the moment, and we'll just try to rebuild this, where hopefully we won't be able to see that pillar. I mean, it's there right now, but if we do this number... Ugh, gross. Well, this doesn't actually cause problems, it's just a visual issue. So it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll call it good for now, no left turns here or here. Okay, next up we'll need to do this one, of course, which should be less likely to cause issues. Hey, but if we are going to have issues, it'll be right here. The immediate area due to no issue there. Conditions. Please exercise no issue there. If you must I love it. And try to stay off the streets until okay. Improve. So this out over here. Again, if we're going to have issues, it will be on this side. You're tuned in to that slope too steep. Wait, but this is fine. Okay. <laughs> sure, we'll go with it. If you're Seems absolutely streets, fine. No left turn here, no left turn roads, here. Okay, now we just need Street our tools, ramps man. here. Seems like everyone I don't expect any issues there. over on this side. It's worth this is the down. issue where it's less it likely can, to cause problems. I say as that oh, pillar is causing problems. I think we're going to have to take Besides, this one out. That, it, it's just anyone. a pillar issue. And so this isn't a big deal, story. but that pillar the is awkwardly located is there. As the area is attracting yeah. more that pillar is store. definitely awkwardly Bringing located for us. To our neighborhood. You can now shop so I'm going to look to local ungroup this. There we go. So and knock watch. that out of That's there a little bit. Then we can the try to bring Thanks. this guy back through. We'll be back after this. And have the pillar drop here instead. Like that. That should buy us a fair amount more space for pillars. So then we would bring this up about here. And then bring this in about here. I mean, th that's really ugly. That is really, really ugly. So I'm going to do it a bit more like... That. It's still ugly. And we've got some clippage going on, but I'll call it good for now. And then we'll do our off ramps right up over here. I don't expect any issues over here either. That slope too steep though. Interesting. On a 16% grade, but we can do this. O okay. This game is confusing. <laughs> sure, but we're good. We got that all made. So that of course means that we want to zone all of this as low density business for right now, I think. Uh, maybe we want a little bit of high density. I'm going to zone like one block down here of high density, but I don't expect that to fill up anytime soon. And instead, we're going to zone all of this low density. And that'll fill up faster, but it's still going to take a while. This should satisfy all of this commercial demand. So there we go. Fantastic. Now, I want to check in on the status of this traffic jam. This has not been fully solved, but we weren't running the game for most of that time, so that's okay. And the status on this traffic jam up over here, I think this one. It's still being worked on, for sure. There's some really awkward lane changing going on there. But they are starting to move again. Okay. We could make this into a turn lane only, I think. And that's probably not a terrible concept. Oh, but we can't do it on a per lane basis. Mmm. Okay. Well, 
We'll just have to see if this cleans up. Everybody wants to be out in this lane, apparently. <laughs> Okay, well, that should eventually clean up. We'll keep an eye on that. As far as the one down here goes, this absolutely did clean up. Uh, where was that? I think that was up over here? Yeah, this absolutely did clean up. So that is perfect. That did indeed solve that problem. As far as the problem up here goes, I mean, I don't think that this is necessarily going to just solve itself. However, there are some left turns here that we can definitely deal with. So no left turn allowed here, no left turn allowed here. There we go. And then as far as this goes, I mean, these guys are just kind of chilling here, right? So that's mostly the problem, is that they just aren't using the roundabout very effectively. That's a pathfinding thing more than anything, I feel like. But we could consider opening up this third lane a little earlier here if we have the room. I'm not sure that we do have the room. Apparently we do. I have no idea what's going on with the, the laning over here, though. I'm going to redo these sections of on-off ramp just because I have a sneaking suspicion that they're causing significant problems. So this is supposed to come up and come in over here like that. And then I want this guy to come out over here like that. No left turn allowed here, obviously. So no left turn here, no left turn here. That should be significantly cleaner on the lane front. We'll see if that cleans it up. I have a suspicion that it will. Because that buys a lot more time for people to get into their desired lanes here. But then again, we've also got things like this van here that was going at like one mile an hour. It sped up the moment I unpaused it though, which was interesting. Okay, so we do see we have a little bit of demand for our low density residential. Now this area out over here, did this get rezoned? It did. So this should be absolutely fine. What do we have going on here? Okay. Well, obviously left turns are a problem here. No left turn here. No left turn here. No left turn here. That's step one. Step two, we could have this go into a third turn lane. That is absolutely an option. And I think it's a good one. So we could definitely have this guy come out into a turn lane that's kind of like this and gives us a little bit of extra time to merge on. So that will clean up a lot of that. Then the question is, what about the rest of this backup that's over here? Well, I don't think that's actually a fundamental issue. Yeah, I think that's reasonably fine. Now, these guys are going to start backing up over this way. But that seems to be... Traffic seems to be flowing through here reasonably well now. It'll just take a little bit of time for all of this traffic to make its way through. But it's definitely... We're getting through this backlog here. So I think that this is under control at this point. I think it was this outlet that was the primary issue here. So I don't think there's any major problem on this on this front right now. We just need to get this merging taken care of more than anything. Yeah, this seems to be absolutely fine down here. No problem there. I don't know. Are, are we getting enough throughput here? We would be if these guys would just, you know, go. <laughs> But they're kind of not. We see situations like these guys were parked up here for quite a while. I think this is eventually going to figure it out. All of these guys are trying to come up here, I think. Because you note that, like, this car is just parked here. So I'm thinking that this might be a good candidate. 
to Embiggen. Unfortunately, we can't do that because of the underlying road here. So, to that end, one has to ask why aren't people utilizing like this exit, right? Well, we can definitely get rid of the left-hand turns that are currently allowed here and here and here. Those can definitely be gotten rid of. Uh, you should not be allowed to go straight, actually. Do not go straight ahead. Do not cross that lane of traffic. Okay. There's also... There, there's going to be a bunch of these just generally around the city that we can get rid of, but there we go. So now the question is, how can we get these people more efficiently into here? Well, that pretty much means taking this road out and upgrading this interchange, right? That's pretty much what this means. So that means that we take this up to a six-lane road, like so. This would go to a six-lane road, this would go to a six-lane, and this would go to a six-lane. About like that. Just so we have a three-lane roundabout here. Then we're going to have to rerun this road underneath, and I'm not sure where exactly we're going to be able to build this thing at. Okay. We can build it here. It's definitely not pretty here. And that would end up meaning that we would want to get rid of that. I want to use the complex curve tool. And I want to bring this guy down to about here like that and rebuild like so. Okay. So something along the lines of that should do. And then we can make all of this be low density. It'll have to be rebuilt, but that is understood. Sometimes that's just the price of progress. Okay. So the traffic is going to have to figure out where it's going to go here. But what this gives is this gives us a dedicated merge lane into the roundabout. So I think that that is actually really, really handy. Oh, uh, this is a stoplight. I do not want this to be a stoplight. No stoplight. There we go. Cool. So now we're starting to move again. And we have more throughput through here. But it'll take a little bit before people figure out exactly where they're trying to go here. Are you guys stopping? Why are you stopping? Like, just go right on through. <laughs> Presumably these guys are trying to go to a different location other than here, but... Once you're in the roundabout, you have right-of-way. So just keep going. I'm talking to you, Mr. Taxi. You have right-of-way, bud. Y you gonna go? There you go. Excellent. Okay. So that should increase our throughput through here. In theory. There's a lot of people attempting to exit right here, but we'll keep an eye on that situation for the time being. There's a fair amount of traffic accidents going on down over this way, but all seems to be going pretty well for right now, all things considered. It will take time to get this area completely rebuilt. And of course, we haven't rebuilt this area over here. So let's just get that completed. I want to take this road out over here and ideally bring that up around here and then connect it in over this way, right? That's returning as in water, which is probably because of this highway here. Okay, let's use the complex curve tool. Bend this down and then in about like that. Okay, so that'll do for the time being. Now we're going to need to use the straight line tool over this way and just connect that directly in. Although we may want to smooth out this terrain first. Yeah, that may not be the worst of ideas. So we'll just smooth terrain tool this out over here. There we go. That should do the trick for now. Then we can straight line tool this guy right on in. 
There we go. Uh, somewhere, Bring uh, this straight down. Have already been dispatched. And, and bring this straight down. To normal. Is that all we need over here? This road you needs to come down to too. Wait a little while until everything clears up. Okay. It, you, uh, That'll be fine for you. now. We no do definitely have some awkward situations over here. So I'm going to use the slope terrain tool and we're just going to bring that down a little bit and then we're going to soften that. Okay. For now, that should be reasonably fine. I'm not hugely happy with this situation here. Yeah. I'm not happy with this situation here. So we just need to get rid of these sections of road here. Can we rebuild them now that we've done a little bit of terraforming? What would that look like? That's much better. So is that. Okay, that'll do. So that's absolutely great. And we're just going to fill in this area over here. So I'm just going to grab from here and move it straight on down to about here or so. Get all that zoned up. This is row housing out over here, it looks like. So that would be something like this. Oh, this is this is row housing, but this is light residential. Okay, fair enough. So there we go. There's that section rebuilt. That'll do. And I want to check in on how we're doing on this. Oh, this all cleared up. Perfect. Yep, that'll do the trick. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode... I don't know what we'll do. We might actually expand our commercial a little bit more because it looks like looks like that's actually kind of necessary. This has gotten all filled in very quickly. Cool. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.